you guys you guys you guys wait 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 like wait 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 now wait wait guys wait what is it what is it why can't these guys actually be like if you see how i shouted yay <laughs> see where i shouted yay when lola came in because honestly like the the position was a bit compromising like even with her i was like eh. And then she now burst in. I'm like, oh god. And he literally just told her, he just told Tony, like, ah, bruh, I'm a head out. And then, oh my god. <laughs> vibes today is wednesdays tmc wednesdays and i am actually really stressed because this episode was stressing me like none of them could actually catch a break like none of the guys i don't i don't really care much for promise to be fair because she really did break everything upon herself but none of the guys could actually catch a break this um episode so yeah let's just jump right into it so first like when um in the beginning when i'm in busting you know for me like avengers damn Jasmine, kini kini kini, and Jasmine was begging. I'm like, Jasmine, why are you begging? Like, did you not know this was gonna happen? Like, what were you thinking was gonna happen? And then she now goes, Oh, too many. One day you'll be a mother like me. Are you really going to play the mother card right now on too many that you actually are? Uh, uh, promise that one. That's why you cross the line. And do you have know, was even vibrating like it's like valley though, but it was funny the way he was vibrating like a small gym. But I really, really felt like, you know, I really felt his pain. And you know, it was just really difficult for me to see, you know, because you know I love Aminu. So it was really difficult for me to see Aminu in that like kind of position and everything. And Jasmine's mother, like you guys, Promise's mother. First of all, she named her daughter Promise. I think like we should have known from there that she was not a good mother. Secondly, the way she's so nonchalant, because if it was Aminu's child, she definitely would have eaten from the big pot of soup but because now jasmine has all these issues sorry promise has all these issues she's like oh you know you have my number i'm gonna go back blah, 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 blah. and i'm just like what kind of mother is this actually like why would she do this kind of thing to her own daughter and i think you can also kind of see i would never really i'm not one to really kind of like excuse people of like their actions i mean the, the repercussion of their actions but like you can actually kind of see why promise has certain characteristics that she has because take a look at her mother like let's let's be honest she's so selfish so self-centered she doesn't and how can she even tell jasmine to give out her child like you guys like the mother like you know me i've been saying that i didn't know why she was here and i guess like they tried to explain in this episode even though if we're honest before being honest we could have done without it but still like she wasn't a good mother or she isn't a good mother still <laughs> too many yeah <laughs> first of all when the whole jasmine um what do you call it i mean this thing happened her wig wasn't laid at all like the whole no it wasn't good and then she also had this outfit with like a bib and i don't know like i kind of it gave me some nanny vibes but at the same time i'm like yeah no but honestly i'll have to give it big ups to her because she's really trying because you know first of all she had to go through all of that that she went through when you broke up just because jasmine was trying to set her up and now she also has to like be a supportive partner she has to also like take everything like bro she's really doing a lot i can't lie and i give it to her and i don't know like i feel like you would not really be able to say whether or not you can do it until you're actually in that like position but for now i really hope that i don't act like the person I, I love does not have all this extra drama coming because this is a lot of drama and at the same time you can't really now be like oh no i'm not going to take this because they didn't really bring it upon themselves so you can't actually blame them for it you get that scene with like aminu in the bar and louis and everything louis was so dumb because louis was like i knew it and he was killing me but honestly louis did call it and i didn't i don't know when louis went from actually being the one with all the issues to actually being the smart one or the smarter the smarter one i don't know but like i really felt bad for him especially when he was crying but the sick the cigar wasn't working because he was blowing air at the point and then you know tayo came in with his own and with tayo like i feel for i feel for him because they are really pressuring him into loving uh what's her name tiara but then at the same time i understand where the father is coming from because tayo is like Tyra does control Tiara's mental health a lot, which is why they shouldn't be together because Tiara cannot be, her emotions can't be based off people's actions. She has to learn to control her own emotions, you understand? And I get that, like, the father is trying to really, you know, be careful and, you know, really, I don't know, shield her from any emotional heartbreak or any emotional um, trauma. 
but at the same time like they cannot pressurize Tayo into loving Tiara like I don't know it's just, it just doesn't make like I get both of them and I like that Tayo also said that he understood where the father was coming from but both of them like he needs to come to that realization on his own he can't um nobody else can force him into it and if they force him into it what they want from him they wouldn't get it eventually because you know it's not really what he wants do you understand and you know you now see larry giving um the whole oh tire doesn't do it because you know he's just afraid that the women will treat him the way he treats them and about, about me i really thought tire was going to retaliate and actually cast larry and be like oh what about you that you are sleeping with did it just i was like hey god hey god but then he did it but like larry made valid points yeah but i don't know I feel like the way he, I feel like they weren't really sensitive about all their situations today. Especially Louis. Louis was having the time of his life. Like, Louis was cracking up. He wasn't calling himself Dr. Louis. But, like, I felt really bad for Aminu. And then when Tyler was now trying to explain to him how, like, he can always be in his son's life and everything. And that just really, like, made me feel so sad because these kids didn't do anything. And these men, at least in these particular situations, didn't do anything to deserve this, like, unnecessary drama that they have. Like, is actually a very very funny man because not patrick actually saying oh i mean i'm sorry what did like i'm like is this patrick showing emotions is this like i was actually scared like is patrick actually remorseful like and i thought he was going to probably laugh or something do you know even when they brought the dna test girl first of all i thought that when they were showing us the the girl walking walking with the paper i thought it was good i thought she was going to design like maybe she started of doing back and forth but she was going to resign but then she was talking 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 then next thing she gave um, I mean you did this thing and I saw it was open and I was like ah oh, god I hope that this girl has not given it to Patrick first and they've not tampered with it but then when Aminu now said that oh that's Patrick's child and he just seemed so defeated when he was talking to um Jasmine <laughs> but he now said is your name even Jasmine <laughs> when that time when he said your name even Jasmine the mother was like even me I want that I'm like ma ma don't shh don't say don't say her name is probably shh anyway yeah like he just seems so defeated and he's like what did i do to you guys and honestly what did he actually do to them i mean has been nothing but like a kind person to everybody except he actually cursed him so i really felt very 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 bad for him but, like on a completely unrelated note though i don't know if you watch skin and transit you know that at a point mide actually did have a son outside and now again like why do they always give aminu these rules and why is it that these women have to kind of accept them into their lives like, i don't get it i don't know is that what they're typecasting him as right now Anyway, now let's move to Mrs. Lawson. You guys, that woman is actually stressing me. Like, she really is just there thinking she's the she's this finest thing since sliced bread. Like, yeah, she's she cute, she buff, but like woman, you can't be coming, oh today you want him, today you don't want him. They, like you can't do that. And then honestly, I don't even know why these guys, like honestly, let's let's call it speed a speed. These guys actually try so hard to be so nice. Like, what's the whole point of holding her? The other one, Louis, he was talking to her face. Like, why can't you guys keep your distance? Corona is outside, they're staying indoors. Corona, like, keep your distance. Do you guys get like let them keep their distance from one another? Because now, 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 check it out now. He owes that and then Lola. Ah, nobody jumped to conclusion like Lola. Nobody. Lola now busting. Instead of her to listen to what Larry is singing, to Larry turning her down. Lola now come and insult him. Is it I don't even know why they're calling him a jigolo. I just I feel like Lola could have been said, oh no, but like that does not speak to Larry's person. Do you understand? Like she just chopped the thing and then now went and insulted him in public. And then Mrs. Lawson was blushing. She's laughing, like, ha, 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 so funny. He's not, he's not. It's, anyway, it's Larry's fault. It's not, seriously, it's Larry's fault because there was no need for her to be holding his hand. There was also no need for Louis to be talking to Tonya's face. And then Tonya to that one is just an hotel. Ah, ah, ah. She really came and said, I want to talk about our kid. Me, I'm like, first of all, this is your feet and this is your stomach that is not growing. Tonya, since the whole season now, your belly is the same way. If anything, the belly is even reducing. Then, a good sis promise has already wanted her to come out that baby. She didn't want to hear. She think I get coconut head. Okay. She's not going to talk to him. Choose the baby. Ma, he's choosing the baby by remaining to be in your life. But he does not necessarily have to actually be with you. She will get it. Like, I don't even quite get it. And then after everything, me and God's I was like, I believe they were kissed. I be told Louis will kiss that. I believe Louis will kiss that. And uh, then when I saw that Louis was not going to kiss her, I was like, oh. The light going busting, the light going busting, and then to Louis was talking, it was closing like ah. Oh. 
like honestly yeah what would you think if you walked in on lola with like i don't know her ex or something and lola just and it's the way they used to be like lola oh my god it's not what you think hey that is the typical i just got cheating line it's not what you think and then he now used it on her so i was like oh god oh god <sighs> if anything yeah one thing i'm actually learning from tmc is that i should not jump into conclusions you know but then at the same time where do you draw the line where do you know that okay this thing i'm doing is jumping to conclusion or this thing i'm doing is actually being smart and following like my guts do you understand there was one thing though that i really did like i liked the fact that you know um what's his name louis did say something to tony about oh you know this whole notion about people being from like divorce from just means that they won't do all like you know some people can actually live together and still like hate each other <laughs> but yeah like i like the fact that he said that because at the time there's this misconception that if you're from a broken home broken in terms of your parents are separated or divorced then you have issues but then you know let's also be honest and say that there are a lot of families that live together that are really broken as well so it was really good that they like shed light on that because even if louis goes to live with tonye he doesn't love her the child won't really experience the love that Tony is seeking for. I think the best thing Tony can do in this position is just really let Louis be and let him decide whether or not he wants, like, let him decide, like, let him be in the child's life, but let her not force herself on him because he, we all know that he doesn't care about Tony. Like, he doesn't love her and it's okay. Like, it's fine for him to not love her and it's fine for Tanya to, Tanya to not love Tiara as well. Like, it's okay. Unrelated, though, I just want to say, I really like the instrumental version of safe with me like i love hearing all the i don't know the instruments that they're using to play but i love hearing fion, 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 fion. i love it i'm like oh it makes me feel like i'm in a musical or i'm in a concert like fion, fion, fion. maybe they should do tmc concert too then um, i mean you will not come up before but larry will not show up i will not jump on him <laughs> Sorry, what did you Anyway, guys, this episode, I think, yeah, they're definitely wrapping it up. Like, wrapping everything. I think we have, like, two more episodes. Episode 12 and episode 13, if I'm not mistaken. We have two more episodes before the season ends. And I'm happy that, like, you know, Aminu... Actually, you know, last episode, I was like, Aminu may not believe. I'm happy that he believed, but I felt so bad for him. And honestly, I also felt like, you know, Aminu, we all called you a mumu from the beginning but now we kind of also sympathize with you i'm also feeling very bad for my baby larry oh my god you guys larry is so beautiful like even the way he was walking i was like hey who who anyway i'm happy I, like I'm, I'm sad for my baby larry i'm also kind of happy that he's single now hi larry hi in the mighty name of jesus anyway tayo i feel like tayo really needs to figure out what he wants he cannot let them pressure him into loving anybody and louis oh I don't even know where Louis is going to start to explain himself now that this is what happened though. Like, I don't even, I don't even know. Father Lord, save Louis. Oh, I just remembered. <clears throat> Jasmine, sorry, promise. I didn't like her painting the narrative to seem like, you know, she didn't do anything wrong. And it's just the fact that Tumini is not in the picture. That's why Amini is acting the way he's acting. Because we know, we know that that's not the truth. That's not what happened at all. But it's cool. What do I expect from the next episode? I feel like somehow, somehow, Louis is going to find out about Larry and um, Fiona. I don't know if he'll be upset because that's not his biological mother. But I don't know. I feel like they're going to have to wrap that out, wrap that up rather. And Tayo, I think they would make him actually realize that. They would make him love her. But then, does he really love her? I don't know. I have unrelated news. One year ago today, I actually posted my first video on my IGTV. It's been one year since I've been creating content and I can't, it actually went so fast. I don't even know how, like from IVTV, I moved to YouTube and it's been, it's been, it's been a pretty decent year. So to celebrate this year, I actually made a PDF guide of 40 Nigerian movies to watch. And the link is on my Instagram bio. I'm also going to link it down in the description box. So you guys go download it, um, watch the movies, tag me on Instagram, share it on your story, support me, send me feedback and all of that great stuff. I've done this for one year. I cannot believe it. I can't. I can't even believe that I have. I took my head inside something for one year. Anyway, guys, we've come to the end of this video, and I don't know. This episode didn't seem as rushed. So big ups to them. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's one year. One year in this game. Thank you, Master Jesus. Don't forget to download the guide in the description box. The link is there. And what else? Don't forget to like. 
comment subscribe follow me on instagram all the details are also in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye <laughs>